most people don't remember that Israel withdrew out of Gaza in 2005. And people like me were absolutely against it. I remember giving hundreds of interviews uh, uh, when Israel withdrew out of Gaza. Israel withdrew out of all of Gaza. Their citizens did not want to leave. They dragged them. I mean, if you remember the images that was placed on the plate on the media at that time, they dragged them kicking and streaming. The Israeli army turned against its own people, dragging them out of Gaza. Not only they abandoned their homes, their greenhouses, the industry, Israel dug out its dead who were buried in Gaza and took every Israeli bone and remain out of Gaza. So yeah. by 2005, there wasn't even any Jew alive or dead. Even dead Jewish bones were dug out of the graves because the Israelis did not know how the Palestinians are going to react. They get an idea. You and I know what Muslims do to cemeteries of Christians, breaking the crosses, digging the bodies out. They did the same thing in Lebanon to us, and, and so they do it to, to, to the Jews. So that's why Israel withdrew them all out and gave, gave Gaza to Hamas and said, here, you take it, you manage it. They left them the greenhouses. Look, Israel used to import so many of the world uh, vegetables, tomatoes, flowers. 50 million flowers were exported out of Gaza annually um, when Israel ruled Gaza. So Israel was rolled out of Gaza. They leave all the greenhouses to the Palestinians. And I know a Jewish businessman in New York, a lefty with all good heart, raised $14 million and gave the Palestinians $14 million because he wanted them to start fresh and had the money to grow and had the capital to grow their industry and continue to prosper. The Palestinians, within 24 hours of the Israeli withdrawal, not only burned 125 synagogues within 25 hours, they destroyed the greenhouses. Not just destroyed the greenhouses, they stole the copper out of the pipes and the faucets. They destroyed them. These people shoot themselves in the foot. They could have turned Gaza into Singapore, but failed. Why? Because they're blinded by hatred. When they held the first election in 2006, one of the most famous cabinet members that was elected was called Um Nidal, the mother of the uh, Mukawama, um, the mother of the resistance. Yeah. And why did they elect her? Because three of her sons blew themselves up as suicide bombers in Israel committing terrorist attack, killing Jews. And she ran on the platform. I sacrificed three kids. I have another seven to kill, to sacrifice. That's why she was elected. The yeah. Palestinians in Gaza are Hamas. There is no difference. We, we in the West try to justify, well, it's a radical minority. It's just these Hamas members who are bad. But the rest of the Palestinians in Gaza are good. Who do you think Hamas is? What do you think Hamas is just a minority that flew through the breeze into Gaza and kind of latched on to some flowers and building and kind of said, okay, we're just going to sit here, but the rest of you are so wonderful, peace-loving citizens. No, that's not the case. The Palestinians in Gaza are Hamas. Hamas controls the Ministry of Health. Hamas controls uh, the Ministry of Defense. Hamas controls the Ministry of Education. Every single ministry in Gaza is Hamas. Hamas Command and Head Command and Network Center is under the Shifa Hospital in Gaza. Everybody knows that. That's not a hospital. That's Hamas's command center, an operation center. So exactly. the Palestinians in Gaza are Hamas.